know they were here. I'm exhausted. How are you exhausted? You didn't even drive here. Being stuck in between you two for five hours is exhausting enough. Dude, yeah, come on. Sofa, get your own. Oh, stop hugging! No! Oh, she's so annoying! You're annoying, girl! Oh, you know what I mean? I don't want to sit here anyway. Wow, there is so much love in this room right now. Shut up. Dude, I knew City's dad was looking for a look at this place. It's huge. Really? That's the first thing you say? Look at me. I'm soaked. And you didn't even bother to help me. Baby, I'm oh, sorry. Please don't be uh, mad. You're unbelievable. Where are you going? To change. Wait, you're going to leave me here with these people? Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Whatever. Like, dude, how does she expect me to carry 20 different things at once? Is she her peer or something, T? Why would I know? You're her sister? So? Plus, I'm pretty sure it's not why she's actually mad. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. Dude, what do you mean? We just got here. Come on, let's open up a couple beers. Hey, I just gotta use the restroom. All right, I'll, I'll be quick. All right, but I can't guarantee you there'll be any when you return. Marcus, chug a beer with me. See you, of course. Oh, how romantic. David, what if someone sees? Okay, you're so cute when you work. Just come here. Okay, why do we have to keep this a secret again? It's complicated. Okay, what's complicated? <laughs> Everything? Why? It doesn't have to be. No, no, we're not having this conversation again. Okay, why not? It's like every time I bring it up, you just change the subject. Because I don't want to talk about it, David. You keep asking me like my answer is going to change, but it's not. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I got that. You know how my parents are. They don't accept tea. What makes you think that you're going to be any different? Okay, if they just got to know me, they would love me. It's Tell not, me I'm wrong. It's not you that's the problem, okay? It's, it's them. They're just... <sighs> Why did you come in here, by the way? I wanted to make sure you were okay. You're so sweet. Yeah, I'm okay. Grant just frustrates me so much. And T, got especially T. Hey, you should be nicer to them. And why would I ever do that? Because they're your younger sibling? Not a good enough reason. Okay, well then, break up with Grant. I can't. God, why don't you understand? Okay, why are you getting upset? Uh, I was just joking well, around. I'm not getting upset. Yes, you are. You're raising your voice at me. I'm not. <sighs> I just don't want to talk about this anymore. <sighs> okay, you don't understand. My parents aren't as understanding as yours. If my dad sees you, He'll kill you. Okay, I'm a strong man. 
I can handle myself. Okay, stop joking around. I'm being serious. I'm willing to take the risk. Are you? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, okay, then we're, we're done. <laughs> What do you mean, we're done? I mean, we're done. I don't want to be your secret anymore. Uh, David, wait. What? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you are. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, say it. You know, it's just you always say you're sorry and then nothing ever changes. That's not true. Yes, it is. Tell me a time it happened then. Okay, you know what? Either break up with Grant at the end of this trip or we're done. Okay, I, I can't do this. We should find the others. <sighs> hey, uh, can I talk to you real quick? Hey. Oh, what do you want? What, a guy can't talk to his girl? Uh, just leave me alone, Grant. Look, I'm sorry, baby. I'll make it up to you. Oh, yeah? And how do you plan on doing that? <laughs> you? Me? The lake, with nothing on. Bye. No, wait, I, I'm sorry, it's just, you got mad earlier and I just want us both to have a good time, okay? I want us to have a good time too. Okay, let's have a good time. Forget about whatever's making you upset and let's have some fun. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's enjoy ourselves. Where the fuck did the lights go? So did the lights go off here too? Oh yeah, they did. Weird, right? Yeah, it is. You know what happened? Uh, it's probably just the rain or something. It is pretty bad out there. Hey, Grant, call Sydney and see if there's something wrong with the cabin. Oh yeah, Sydney. Where is she? I thought she was already supposed to be at the cabin when we got here. I thought so too. What if she got in a wreck on her way? Why would you say that? I was just saying. How are you doing? I'm calling Cindy to make sure she's okay. You sure it's gonna go through with all this weather? You'll probably get no reception. Only one way to find out. <clears throat> Is that a cell phone? I think so. Do you recognize the ringtone? No. Do you? No. That's not creepy at all. Should we go check it out? No, no, no. We are going to stay right here. Come on, dude. Don't let me go alone. Don't worry, man. I'll go with you. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, someone here wants to go with me. Okay, you know how I feel about these things. Don't be such a baby. It'll be okay. I promise. Yeah, you don't know that. <sighs> Fine. Chels? No, thanks. <clears throat> and why do you keep trying to get us to come with you? Stop it. It's creepy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not. I'm just saying that it's it's a bad idea to split up. Right, David? Uh yeah. It is. So stay here with us. T. Sorry. I'm going to stay here with Chelsea. Fine. Come on, man. Let's just go. <sighs> Fucking cowards. We'll be right back.
What are you even doing? Look how many books Sydney's dad has. Hey guys, have you seen this symbol before? What symbol? Check it out. No, I haven't. Same. It looks weird. Mm. No, don't. Yeah, and, and why out of all people does Sydney's dad have this book? I don't know. It must be for some freak of stuff. <laughs> Stop it! <Ew. laughs> okay, wait. Ghosts? Spirits? Satan. <gasps> what, like the devil Satan? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, stop. Sorry, um, just look at this though. What is it? Looks like a, a ritual of some sort. A what? People use them in seances. So you can summon ghosts, demons, real serious shit. Wait, that actually happens? Yeah, um, I read about it all the time. So to do the seance, you form a circle with lines going in specific directions like, like, like this. And then it usually consists of you following certain steps to summon something. And if you mess up a single part of the entire seance, it won't work. Wait, what? You draw a circle with a bunch of lines and then you follow steps. Idiot, shut up. Yes. <laughs> okay, wait, guys. Just, isn't it really weird that that this book is here? Well, okay. How long has Grant known Sydney? A month. Why? It's, okay, it's just, it's really, really weird that Sydney's dad has this book. Plus, Sydney never showed up, and this is her dad's cabin. For all we know, that could have been her phone we heard earlier. Um, how long have Grant and Marcus been gone? I don't know. Like, ten minutes? Should we go check wait, on them? No, no, no. We are gonna stay right here and wait for them to come back. But what if they need help? <laughs> <sighs> no, it's, it's, it's not a good idea to go look for them, okay? We're just gonna wait for them to come back with Sydney. <sighs> David. It's really not a good idea to go. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Let's let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, ow, you stepped on my foot. Well, don't get my way, it won't happen. Now is not the time. Chelsea? T? Oh. <sighs> wakey, wakey. <laughs> <laughs> Miss me? Marcus, what the hell are you doing? Let us go. Yeah, dude, this isn't funny. <sighs> it's perfect, because this isn't a joke. What are you wearing? Oh, this little thing? It's a jacket. Like it? You look stupid. Really? 
So I kind of like it, you know, it's kind of- Dude, stop fucking around and let us go! I'm sorry, I can't do that. Okay, why not? Because you would escape and we can't have that now, can we? Not when we have so much to do in so little time. We? Correct. We are all in this together. What are you talking about? Hey, what the fuck is going on? Shh, lower your voice. What are we going to do? Uh, okay, Chelsea, here, let me untie you. Uh, ow, ow! Okay, uh, it's, it's too tight. I, I need something sharp. Looking. Oh, there's no point. We can't give up now. We can't find anything, and we don't know how much longer he's going to be gone. We should just stop. Okay, we can't. Our lives may depend on it, so just pull through this one time. Uh. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's coming. Which one of you bitches touched my book? Okay, salad treatment. How about this? Let's make a deal. Fuck you. Fine. Have it your way, princess. No, shut up. What's the deal? You tell me you touched my book, and I'll tell you where Grant is. You know where Cran is? I do. Do you want to know? <sighs> okay, how do we know you're not just tricking us? <sighs> David, do I look like the type of person to do that? Stupid question, but I am being so very serious this time. You tell me you touched my book, and I'll tell you where Grant is. Pinky promise. I touched your book. Oh, my God. Thank you. He's not gonna hurt me. Now, was that so hard? Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it when people touch my thing. Oh, my God! <laughs> and stop crying. Just be glad I didn't kill you. And plus, I told you I tell you where Grant is. And I am a man of my word. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, don't act like any of you actually care he's dead. Let's face it, we all hated him. I didn't hate him! Yes, you did. Maybe you most out of all of us. Right, David? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Why would I know? Oh, David and Chelsea sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. -S Chelsea. Where did you get these? I took them. And how long have you had these? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? You're enjoying this, aren't you? God, you're fucking sick! Chelsea, no. How can anyone hey, act hey, like hey, this? Chelsea, Were you stop. fucking neglected as a child or something? Chelsea, uh, stop! Shut up! No! Why should I have to stop? He's the one that has us tied up. What am I gonna do? He fucking killed Grant, so no, I'm not going to shut up! <laughs> I bet you didn't even have a dad. Chelsea. Did you? Chelsea. Huh? Chelsea. Did you? Chelsea. Chelsea. That's why you're a pathetic excuse for a man. Marcus. You're disgusting. No, no, no. Marcus. You're worthless. No. Just be glad it wasn't you. <laughs> and you say I'm sick. Look at yourself. You didn't even have the nerve to break up with Grant, so you cheated on him for three months. And now T's dead. And it's all your fault. No, no, no. And you know what? Maybe Grant would still be alive if you could have learned to close your fucking legs. <laughs> Oh, gee. Oh, gee. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Marcus, why are you doing this? Because we're summoning a devil, baby. What? We can't summon the devil. Yes, we can. <clears throat> there are four steps that go into summoning a demon. The first thing that you need, above all else, is to gather the ingredients. Now, what ingredients do you might need, you may ask? And that is an excellent question. What you need is the blood from a human hand and the very knife that pierced the hand. It is very important that you get the same knife. And our pal Sydney already took care of that for us. But we'll get to that in a minute. You know where Sydney is? <laughs> of course I do. I've known this entire time, silly. <sighs> <sighs> now, for the second step, a ritualistic sacrifice, which that is where Sydney comes in. Now, you see, I have known Sydney for longer than any of you think that I have. Gotcha! Oh, gotcha. Cut it out! What's wrong with you? Sorry. Whoa, what is all this stuff? Nothing, it's nothing, it's for a school project. <laughs> school project? Yeah, right, for real. What's all this? Okay, okay, don't touch that, it's nothing. Satan? Like the devil? Yes, like the devil, but it's nothing. Stop being so nosy. Ooh. Hey, okay, seriously, cut it out. Hey, why? It's cool. <laughs> really? Yeah? Like boring guts? Who wouldn't think all this stuff is awesome? A lot of people. Well, I do. Where'd you get all this stuff? What happened to your arm? <clears throat> nothing. Don't change the subject. That doesn't look like nothing to me. How about you tell me where you got all this stuff, and I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Seriously, come on, tell me. <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you. I was in bed when I heard the doorbell ring. It was 3 a.m., so I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit freaked out. I ended up getting the guts to open it, but when I did, nobody was there. I even looked outside. Then I saw this weird envelope on the floor. At this point, I was already freaked out, so I slammed the door shut and ran back to my room. Do you want to see it? <laughs> yeah. What kind of silly question is that? <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear Sydney Johnson, <laughs> we cordially invite you into an event of the utmost secrecy and importance. One that will change the course of your life. The details are to remain confidential until October 31st. Show up to 141 Maple Drive at 10 p.m. sharp. I can't believe this. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. They were right, Marcus. This is the best I've ever been, and you should join. I don't know, that's a little crazy. No, it's not. We're just like anyone else. A family. I don't know, Sid. Just, just one meeting. And if you don't like it, you don't have to go back. One meeting. <laughs> yes, okay. You won't regret it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I want to show you this. <clears throat> yeah, this one specifically. I, want it. I knew that bitch was psycho from the start. I did too. That's why we got along so well. Okay, you never told us how you have all those scars. Do you really want to know? I mean, what else do we have to lose? I'm gonna need a beer for this. How about something stronger?
My mom was never home. When she was, she was either sleeping with him, Frank. I mean, he was an interesting guy. I liked him at first, but he would take me to the movies or to the pool or... But that didn't last for very long. I mean, I, I tried to tell her, Mommy, Frank, hit me. I'll go to your room, you stupid brat, she'd say. And don't come out until I tell you to. And of course, she just had to tell Frank. And you can only guess how that ended. It only got worse over the next seven years. Until it ended. He was finally gone. But when he left, so did my mother, in a way. Not literally, but a part of her broke. She stopped taking care of me. I was basically homeless in my own home. He got what he deserved. Third step, my personal favorite. Four unsuspecting lives must be taken alongside this sacrifice. And oh, that's where you come in. I mean, Sydney met Grant, and then Grant introduced her to all of you so quickly, and everything was going so fast, but it was, it was so perfect. And then all Sydney had to do was make up some bullshit excuse about how her dad was letting us use some cabin, and you all come running without question. So this whole time, it's just been an elaborate plan. Oh. Precisely. Now, David, I'd love to sit and chat, but I have ingredients to prepare. The seance is about to start. Was born. 